All right. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome and thanks for tuning in today. This is a very exciting video for me because today is reveal day and we finally get to see which back cowl we are going to be receiving. This project has been awesome. I've been so focused on this. So today I'm going to be opening up two of these. So in these uh, chests, there's going to be a back cowl that is basically a one of one out of uh, one billion combinations. And there were only supposed to be 200,000 of these maximum. However, the final mint number was around 12,000 were minted. So that's about how many sold. These were about $300 each. And I already opened my first one because I couldn't wait. I knew I was going to, you know, try to make a YouTube video on it, but I couldn't wait. This is the one I got. It's a very cool green one with a little short ears. I thought at first I wasn't going to like the short ear ones, but they look very cool. Um, in fact, all of these back calls look cool. So this is the one I got. So if you look at the description, it says, this is your invitation to join the bat faction. Our world is descending into chaos and disorder. It is more important than ever that we join together to save it. Stand with me. Stand for justice. Stand for those who cannot protect themselves. I do not wear my mask to hide who I am. I wear it to create what I am. Your turn has come to do the same. Your cowl will create what you are. It will mark you out to both allies and enemies. You will receive system updates from the back computer. These will be verified using the codes on the storage devices already provided. And then right here, you can see a little bit of the specs. So this is back cowl number 91235. And the specs is this one is MK11966 back cowl. And it has the reinforced jaw and it has a signal domino, which I'm not sure what that is yet. So if we go all the way down here, you can see the traits and rarities. So this one has a hush background. That's a uh, rarity 17%. The signal domino 21%, which I'm still not sure what exactly that is. But then I'm confused a little bit because with the earpiece, the right side, it says none. And then it says 97%. And then for the left earpiece, it also says none with a 96%. But then if you go down to materials, material one is very dark gray tight weave with a percent of uh, less than 1%. And the same thing with material number two, uh, less than 1%, which is the tactical green uh, vinyl. So it's very interesting. I still don't understand this. And then for material number three, it also says none with a 96%. So this back cow only has two materials. And I know that if you have a back cow with three materials, those are supposed to be very very rare another thing to note is that the light effect this one is an atomic pink which is a six percent which is one of the lowest i have seen so i can already tell this is uh fairly rarish when it comes to the light eyes and uh yeah let's get right into it. i'm sorry i'm just babbling a lot i can you know go on forever with this project and i will make a separate video letting you guys know everything about this if uh you don't know what these back cows are um but yeah let's just get right into it because this is not a video letting you guys know what they are this is just revealing what you can get in these uh chests right so let's reveal our second one nice so, all right look at this one this one has like a purple tint with uh white eyes right this is so cool look the background says death in the family i like that color i don't know who named that but i like it uh let's see uh let's see armor domino so i'm guessing the domino it says right here is a little eyepiece that goes just about the eyes right so that one is called armor domino no earpieces yet, both on uh, both say none. Has a classic jaw and has the blinding white for the light effect. And then material number one, you can't really see the whole uh, information. So we're gonna go back to collection and we're gonna click on it and go all the way down. And now we can see the full traits and rarity. So for the light effect, this one is 28%. So it's not as rare as the purple one that we did receive on our first one. Uh, but the materials, okay, now this is different. So the material number one is still less than 1%. However, the material number two is 2% now. So I'm guessing that's a little bit more common. It does have the lantern green ballistic weave. 
Uh, material number three is none. So again, this is probably not a very rare one because it only has two materials. Well, I'm still kind of confused with this. So, you know, I'm still learning about exactly what everything is supposed to say. But uh, it looks really nice. I really do like this one. It has a long ears. So we're going to go ahead and go for our second one or third one, actually. All right. Okay, this one's an all-white one. Very awesome. The background is also Death in the Family. We don't have any earpieces, and we have a glare domino now. So, okay, it does look like it has some sort of reflection on there. So, let's go to our collection and see the rarity on this one. So, we scroll down. Uh, let's look at the light effect. It's, uh, what's the heliotrope? For the light effect, it's a 29%. And then for the material number one, it is 2% now. So it's a concrete gray grip vinyl. And the material number two, which is the white out matte vinyl, is less than 1%. Still no uh, material number three. In fact, I've looked at a lot of uh, back cows all over Twitter, all over Discord, and have yet to see a back cow with material uh, with three materials. So those are probably going to be very, very rare if they even do exist. Uh, but yeah, those are my back house for this collection. Um, I do have more coming up. I did buy a, uh, a few more. So if you guys are interested in uh, seeing more of these openings, make sure to subscribe and uh, like this video. But anyways, let me know if you guys also uh, participated in this drop. This project is fantastic. I'm absolutely in love with this and I'm so excited uh, what we are going to see in the next few months and in the next few years because, you know, the roadmap stretches for about three years. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys in this video. As always, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.